What is up, YouTube? Nerd Gamer Productions here once again. <clears throat> and today I'm going to be a uh, special video for you guys, making and posting a special vid for you guys. Just get my Deadpool up on here. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm back. Uh, it's kind of weird, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. So I'm bringing you guys an Ajax Origins video. Now, uh, I just posted a video today, same day, about Ajax confirmed for the Deadpool movie. Ajax being, of course, the, the villain, uh, long-time Deadpool villain, uh, ties into his origin story. And I know there's going to be so many people out there who have no idea who Ajax is. And, you know, they're going to be searching the Wikipedia. They're going to be searching the YouTube. Who the hell is this guy? <clears throat> and... Me being the hardcore Deadpool fan that I am, I want to make sure that all of you guys hear from me who Ajax is. Because Ajax is an awesome character and, <clears throat> yeah, he's a very cool character. You know, I want to give you the in-depth in -depth scoop. In-depth, in-depth. Okay, scoop on who Ajax is. And this video is funny because I hate the people that do that stuff. I hate the people that go on Wikipedia and are like, who's Drax? Let me check him out. I don't know why it bugs me because I'm such a fan. I guess you could say this is sort of like the fanboy versus poser type thing. It just bugs the hell out of me. It's kind of like, you know, being a longtime Laker fan and then, well, you know, say somebody's a longtime Laker fan and then, you know, somebody just comes in to like the game with the jersey and they're like Clippers fan. I don't, I don't know. Anyways. <clears throat> It bugs me, but I'd rather all of you posers hear it from me first. <laughs> I sound like such a douchebag right now. I'm sorry, guys. So anyways, Ajax, let me give you the origins. Head scoop, um, not head scoop, just scoop on who he is. So if you guys want to uh, know for yourself who Ajax is, you should pick up Deadpool Volume 4, Deadpool Classic Volume 4. Uh, it's an awesome book. Joel Kelly, my favorite Deadpool writer, wrote it. And Ajax appears in the Deadpool Death Annual. I believe it's 1998. Let me see. Yes, this right here. Deadpool Death Annual 1998. It's a very well-known comic for Deadpool fans. Uh, yeah, even... It's so it's It took the back page of this, that one comic. And then, you know, besides that, this book also has Deadpool 18 through 25. So yeah, awesome book. This is my favorite collection of uh, Deadpool material. But anyways, he, yeah, you, he, this is Ajax right here. Well, this is not the Ajax you're going to see in the movie, but anyways. Hopefully you can see him. He's wearing the black with a big white A right there. Hopefully you can see him. Yeah, so in before he gets his blue metal suit, his name is Francis. And he's a douchebag. Uh, he works at the institution, mental institution where Deadpool is. After, of course, like the cancer and all that. And, you know, the Dr. Kilbrew interruption in his, uh, you know, bodily functions. Uh, I sound like a nerd right now, but, you know, you guys should really read this comic and you'll understand what I'm saying. It's it's awesome. But yeah, Dr. Kilbrew, another guy who I, I'm pretty sure it has to be in this movie because, you know, he ties into this. But anyways, Ajax, he's this douchebag at the mental institution. Uh, he's mean to Deadpool, mean to everybody. And then Deadpool escapes the institution and Ajax is out to look for him. And then, you know, Ajax becomes, like, the blue-suited, awesome robot dude. Let's see if I can find a picture with his blue... His suit. There he is. Look how sick that is. Actually, I think this is... I have a thumbnail for my uh, video I posted before. I think it's this exact same picture of him right there. You see, he kind of has, like, this Captain America look to him. But, yeah, and he ties into him, and he's an awesome character. Like I said, worked at the institution out to kill Deadpool because he escaped. And they want to do tests on Deadpool because they know how special he is so yeah that's that's why he ties into this that's mainly the main idea the rest is just you know he's trying to kill him and it ties into Deadpool why he's why he's named Deadpool if you saw the X-Men Origins movie that's a stupid explanation of how Stryker you know the pool of mutant subjects came into his body it's not true the reason is that at the institution Deadpool um, you know, it's his fault that many of the people there died, and Ajax killed most of them. 